name is Patrick Montfleur, I'm a geologist, retired with the U.S. Geological Survey. And I've been working up in the Lassen region for since about 1975. And one of the major products which he just put out is a geologic map of Lassen Volcanic National Park and vicinity. I'd like to just take a couple of minutes to show a few of the things we do as we transfer our work in the field to the office and then into the computer and ultimately to the published product. Geologist, the first thing he does in the field is he's got to have a rock hammer. And this is my favorite rock hammer. It's called a cut rock, made in England. But basically, what you're doing in the field is you find an outcrop of rock and you need to find out what it is. So what you do is break off a good, fresh piece of that rock and you look at it with a small magnifying glass called a hand lens and you determine what the minerals are in the rock as best you can and by comparing different rocks in the field, uh, you sort them out into what we call geologic units. You then plot these units on a topographic map, which is this green sheet right here. It's paper. It's a published topographic map. The process is I have to determine where I am on this map, in other words, locate myself. I then find different places with the same kind of rock or different rock, and ultimately I produce a map like this to show one rock versus another rock. In the process, of course, we collect uh, samples for chemical analysis, for age dating, and for other purposes. One of the things you use extensively in the field would be aerial photographs, and in particular, we put them into stereo. So what we do in the field is we've trained ourselves to essentially focus our eyes on infinity and essentially match them such that it pops into stereo. The hills are, look like they're hills, and the valleys look like they're valleys. And this is a very effective technique for uh, analyzing the terrain to draw. And we take these field maps, they're getting pretty fragile as you can see, they've been taped together many times, and we transfer the data either directly to a green line topographic map, which is right here. This green line map is the basic material then that is scanned into the computer. I also have to go in and tell the computer what each one of these areas is. We call them polygons. I have to, I have to what we call tag this polygon. And, but it gets, eventually you get to the point that every polygon in this huge spatial database is tagged with its specific unit name and every line is defined as either a contact or a fault.